What's going on guys? It's Greg here, aka NY Prepper. In this video I'm going to do a penetration test with my 300 Winchester Magnum rifle and I'm going to be shooting it at some 16 gauge sheet metal and the purpose of the test is to see how many sheets of 16 gauge sheet metal a 300 Winchester Magnum rifle will penetrate through and the ammunition I'm going to be using is some choice ammunition 180 grain solids and this solid is made by cutting edge bullets and choice ammunition loads them pretty hot and out of my 20 inch barrel rifle I get around 2850 feet per second and this load can penetrate through a lot of stuff. I've shot it at 2x10 lumber and it could penetrate through 15 pieces of 2x10 Douglas fir lumber and it also penetrated through 89 sheets of regular half inch sheetrock. If you want to see those tests I'll leave links in the top right corner of this video. So I want to just show you guys the rifle I'm going to be using. This is my Ruger M77 Hawkeye Alaskan chambered in 300 Win Mag. I got my Silencer Co. Omega 300 suppressor. And I actually upgraded the stock on this rifle. This is actually a Hogue stock that has an aluminum bedding block that goes all the way through the entire stock. And I have an Athlon two and a half to 15 power scope on here. Okay, you can see 300 Win Mag. And I absolutely love this rifle. There's my Omega 300, excellent suppressor. If you guys are interested in seeing videos on this rifle and on the suppressor, I'm gonna be leaving links in the top right corner of this video. And the sheet metal I'm gonna be using is just some regular 16 gauge sheet metal. I picked this up at my local Home Depot, okay? And they are one foot by one foot. And I created a jig from wood to hold these sheets vertical. And I'm gonna shoot at the sheets like this. And we're gonna see how many of these sheets of 16 gauge steel sheet metal those 300 Win Mag solids can penetrate through, okay? And it's pretty thick, as you can see, it's not thin, okay? So it's it's pretty rigid stuff, it's, it's thick. I mean, I can bend it and flex it if I really try, but this is thick sheet metal, guys. It's 16 gauge, so it's a 16th of an inch thick. And if you wanna see all of my sheet metal tests, I'll leave a link in the top right corner of this video take a guess how many sheets do you think the 300 win mag solid will penetrate through at the end of the video we're going to take a closer look at the sheet metal and i'm going to try to recover the bullets if i can and we'll take a closer look at everything so i hope you guys enjoy this test and thanks for watching All right, guys, 300 Win Mag versus 16 gauge sheet metal. I got my Ruger M77 Hawkeye Alaskan. It has a 20 inch barrel. I got my Silencer Co. Omega 300. Okay, I absolutely love this rifle. And we're going to be using the Choice Ammunition 180 grain solid. This is a flat nose solid copper bullet made by cutting edge bullets 
and I've chronographed this load and I get around 2,850 feet per second out of this 20 inch barrel. So let's see how many sheets of 16 gauge sheet metal this thing will go through. All right guys, perfect hit. Let's see what happened. All right, guys, so here was our hit. 180 grain, cutting edge solid from Choice Ammunition. Perfect hit, that's exactly where I was aiming. You can see the copper was stripped off by the first sheet there. Okay, you can see that ring of copper. So let's count how many sheets this load penetrated through. And these two other holes were from the 416 Ruger test. If you haven't seen that test, I'll leave a link in the top right corner of this video. So let's see how many sheets of 16 gauge sheet metal solid steel this 300 Win Mag solid penetrated through. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. And so it looks like it penetrated through ten and it stopped in the eleventh sheet or it bounced off. Okay, you can see a big dent there. And there's the back of the eleventh sheet. See that huge dent? Okay, there's the exit hole. In the tenth sheet all right so ten sheets of 16 gauge steel sheet metal 300 wind mag 180 grain monolithic metal solid and I don't see the bullet anywhere I'm gonna look around and see if I can find the bullet but look at those exit holes guys check that out Pretty impressive, just shredded through all that sheet metal. That is very, very impressive. So I'm actually going to take these pieces of sheet metal home, and we're going to take a closer look at them so you guys can see up close what this bullet did to the sheet metal. But 10 sheets 
of 16 gauge sheet metal. That's pretty impressive. All right, guys. So I want to go over the results here in more detail. I could not find the bullet, but I did find all of these little pieces of metal that were stacked together, these little coins, and that's from the solid when it penetrated through all the sheet metal. It punched clean holes through the sheet metal and kind of like a hole puncher that you use in grade school to punch holes in paper. You get those little round paper pieces and basically that's what that 300 Win Mag solid did to the sheet metal. It just punched clean holes in the sheet metal and you can see the sheet metal got stacked together in these little coins when it punched through. So that's pretty cool. And the heat from the bullet looks like caused some of the sheet metal to melt or you can see how it's discolored here you can see like that black color there bluish color so the friction must have caused the sheet metal to melt a little bit but i could not find the bullet i spent like 30 minutes trying to find it unfortunately i could not find it but i want to go through all the sheets with you one by one so once again the 300 wind mag out of a 20 inch barrel with 180 grain copper solid penetrated through 10 sheets of 16 gauge sheet metal 16 gauge sheet metal is a 16th of an inch thick so you know you can do the math that's um so if you do the math that's five eighths of an inch of metal sheet metal that this bullet penetrated through so that's pretty impressive guys so here's the first sheet this was my hit right there these other holes you can ignore they're from other tests that i've done okay so look at that clean hole that the 300 wind mag punched in this first sheet compared to these other holes these were from 416 ruger and 308 and it just punched a really nice clean hole look at that it almost looks like a laser went through there i mean it just completely cut right through like a hot knife through butter and that's because it was just moving so much faster than the 308 and the 416 Ruger okay so pretty impressive that's what velocity does it just cuts clean holes like that okay you can see it's just literally looks like a laser just melted right through that piece of sheet metal there this hole right here so there's the first sheet here we have the second sheet. Okay, there's our hole. Okay, still pretty clean compared to the other ones. Okay, still a pretty clean hole there. Here we have the third sheet. Here's the back of the third sheet. It's interesting how that hole just really got large. In just the third sheet, it's, it's a pretty big hole now. I can actually fit my pinky almost in there. So pretty interesting. Here's the fourth sheet. Now the hole is really getting big. I can basically stick my whole pinky in there. And I have big fingers. Back of the fourth sheet. Here we have the fifth sheet right here. Back of the fifth sheet. Here we have the sixth sheet, okay, pretty massive hole. I can comfortably fit my pinky in there. Look at that. Um, check that out, guys, right there. Exit hole. And here we have the seventh sheet, okay. Here's the back of the seventh sheet. Check that out, guys. Look how it ripped that metal off. Check that out. That's pretty impressive. Here we have the eighth sheet. Okay. Here's the back of the eighth sheet. There's our hole right there, our exit hole. 
here we have the ninth sheet and here we have our tenth sheet right here okay and here's the exit hole on the tenth sheet and there's actually this little coin here you can see what i'm talking about those little coins i call them coins they look like little nickels or dimes just a clean punch right through that steel it's really impressive look at how it displaced all that metal there that's just crazy crazy power and then here we have the 11th sheet and it dented the 11th sheet but it did not pass through okay you can see pretty big dent so that's pretty much it for this one guys stay tuned to my channel for more sheet metal penetration tests more 300 wind mag more suppressors in the meantime check out my sheet metal penetration tests playlist and all the links are in the top right corner of this video thanks for watching may god bless you may god bless america and don't forget the three p's prepare practice and persevere